Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard hoping that my camera does not get too hot because it is a very warm day out here and that does have, have it has been a problem in the past. I'm just trying to cover that little piece of canvas I see and I'm going to have to move that piece of plastic that's tickling me. <laughs> Time to empty the garbage I think. Uh, now my bottles have been clogging up a little bit because of the warmth but I am learning how to get a little faster at this which is pretty cool. So I think I'm just going to get frisky and see if we can finish in a slight, slightly shorter amount of time by pulling this card up and over and up and over and letting the colors we know won't be a problem mix. Do we know that that wasn't going to be a problem? I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Some of these things are coming out really fast, like that orange for sure. Now I really thought I would be just dipping and pulling most of these cards, but that doesn't seem to be the way that's working the best. The way that's working the best seems to be to put a couple lines of paint down and then I'm going to use a new card. Ha! And then to pull it across. And I think because I have paint there, if I dip it off, then it won't have a chance to get too muddy. And I want all of that pretty color right off, so I'm going to just use it right off the card. And that white was the white pearl. And I am loving being able to use my neon from Artist Loft. As long as I don't have a pre prime canvas, and I don't, I can keep the color strong. As soon as I put white or anything in the background, it does not stay nearly as strong. So this is a combination of making textures by pressing the card down and by pulling it sideways. And there are a few colors I've missed. I'm trying to uh, to disperse my darks and my lights and colors that go, to, go together. No, I can see right now I'm gonna have to... I lost that train of thought. It's gone forever. <laughs> so I did I did set the timer. I do set the timer for, because the camera shuts off at 20 minutes. So if you ever wonder what's going on there, that's what's going on there. I'm going to put a whole bunch of that color in because I haven't really gone overboard on anything. And as long as there's other paint on my card, it means that the two colors together will react and I will make another color still. Someday I will have a studio where everything fits. And I hope that you can see this and you'll forgive me if you can't because I'm working on a diagonal. I don't mind having the texture of the card. I'm not super pleased when it looks a little muddy, but uh, so far I think I've been extremely fortunate and I am going to use my Wet Studio rag, which I recommend everybody has. Especially if you're using my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, which, by the way, are found on the Amazon link underneath the video, along with my, where is it, Oxo Omelet Turning Spatula, which is the best paint spreading spatula around. If you're spreading paint on a canvas, like a lot of us who are doing pouring are, it spreads a nice even layer and you can see what you need to see in there to remove anything that's anomalous and strange that does not belong. I am loving, loving, loving the prism. I'm not loving that. <laughs> the, prism the prismatic effect is great. I love it. But every time I open one of my bottles, I seem to be taking a chance <laughs> that I'm going to wind up with a face full of paint. I don't know what I'm going to look like when I go in to look at the mirror later. Because <laughs> I know it's not right. All right, so I like that white spot there. It adds a lot. And it's already pearl. So I'm just going to add a little more. I'm going to keep trying to move my stuff out of the way. I'm going to throw a little more pearl in there. 
And the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter what's drying behind me because I am just going to pull other stuff right over it. I am trying to, you know, basically keep track of the colors that I'm using and what I like to see. And sometimes I'm dipping and sometimes I'm pulling. And sometimes I'm skewering. Bottles open like forever and ever. I wonder if that's going to happen if I go to work inside. If I ever get good lighting for my space inside and I find a way, it's going to be an interesting thing. If I find a way to set up a tripod so I can make movies inside, it's going to be a whole new ball game. I don't have a whole lot more space, but um, so just don't forget you can run that card up and down. I gotta remember that's already pearl. It just reminds me of beautiful tissue paper collages. My mother used to love to play with tissue paper. My mother was an artist too. She was a fine artist, the same as my father was. Both art student league graduates. I'm never going to get tired of that pink, I can tell you right now. I love that pink. That pink is just stellar. Makes me happy just looking at it. And because that's a nice purple, I'm going to move some of it over and use some of it to zhuzh up and change up the texture of my pink. Just keep going in and leaving beautiful marks. So I have, that's a turquoise color shift from Folk Art, and that is a color I'll never be able to replace, which is supposed to be a blue from Folk Art, but I've never seen it again, so don't get your hopes up that you're going to find that one. But I do have a couple new colors, and one of these days I'll remember to bring the container out here so you guys can see them. That have iridescence as well as folk art and uh, metallics. And they're right in the same ballpark price range. So far, I'm extremely pleased with my color choices. And uh, I have a wonderful prism effect that I'm very happy about. This might have to be a frame piece, it's, or it's just going to be different when I go back in and try and fill around the edges, because I'm just so busy trying to do what I'm trying to do that there's not much, not much chance to fill the edges at the same time. I'm not leading much paint over. I think so. We are getting very close to something <laughs> that I, I think I might be satisfied with. I think I want a little more yellow. It's a very abstract expressionist piece of art. It's definitely a starburst of some kind, a prism. And just keep running that card right up. Hopefully the yellow will stay and it won't make it too green. And I can just keep picking up paint from one colored place to the next and putting it down. And there's never going to be a chance in heaven or anywhere else that this is going to be repeatable for sure. And it was a lot of fun. I recommend fun. I don't recommend that you torture yourself if you can't do something I can do exactly. But give yourself a chance, you guys. I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of paintings. So if you're not getting exactly what I'm showing you, Give yourself some time. Practice. If you have a goal in mind, you will reach your goal. 
If you do exactly what I do in some form or another, you'll get kind of close to that. I'm so glad I rescued this from that, uh, that terrible orange. <laughs> it wasn't terrible when it went down, but it just, that big bloop of orange was heartbreaking. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it was. I, I really did expect to have a lot more uh, geometric shapes. And it doesn't bother me that they're not here. I'll get over it. <laughs> I'm already over it, actually. So I'm right there at the very end. And uh, I have no idea if you've seen what I've been doing. So hopefully you have. And I don't know. I'm feeling guilty about it. So let me get right up here. Yes, you've seen most of what I've been doing. Yay! I like that. All right, so I'm gonna take my white pearl and think about whether I want to try and add any of that as refracted light other places. And I kind of do. I like the effect it has and it will be shimmer, shimmery. I'm going to do it again. Yes, I am happy with this. I gotta say, thank you guys for joining me so much. You are my inspiration. I tell you now, I lie, do, I lie not. Well, actually, sometimes I do, but... <laughs> Only about being finished with a painting. Uh, this one, I can tell you now, I will pretty much be finished with. Ooh, that's a really nice little bunch of cells right there. Really pretty combination. I don't want to get too frisky with that. I would like to let some stuff go over the edge. And I think another time I might be able to remember a little better. So I have to decide what goes in here. What goes in there? That might be it. We shall see. I did not use an awful lot of my darker turquoise. I don't know that I need to. I like that some of the angles go off in their own direction because that just makes it feel more like refract refracted light to me. I am so loving this. What a cheerful painting. Well, that is cool. I will be covering up my edges for a while. I could probably use a, a few more splatters here and there. Of fun colors. And uh, I don't think there's anything I can do to hurt this at this point. <laughs> she says that, hopefully. Um, I like the lighter areas. But I think I want a little bit more intensity there. Where's my pink? There it is. This one likes to clog a lot. Just going to drag it down and let it flow a little bit sideways. It doesn't matter if there's some uh, marks that don't look like anything other than abstraction. They're meant to be there. So the only thing I'm seeing right now that I might want to change is that. And that was a ball. Thank you guys. I told you thank you, but I tell you thank you all the time because I, I just feel like I really need to thank you for being such inspiration, inspirations to me and being so inspired yourselves. So, what do I need to tell you? In the last 20 seconds of the video is an end screen that has my website on it, my, and uh, which will also lead you to Instagram. And... Uh, It'll show you this month's contest. I see that. Which will show you the prizes for contributors to the studio. 
I appreciate all the contributions I've had in the past to the studio. That's the wrong color. And you've kept me painting. You've kept me painting and you've kept me inspired and you guys are the bomb. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to 55,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for your thumbs up all the time. Really helps my placement on YouTube, gets my videos seen by more people. And they seem to appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I have a book on Amazon called Because I Can. Yes, I did. I added some gold. And I got lucky and it didn't splooge out in, a, in an insane amount. 